Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another update. Uh, we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price today and also we're going to compare it to the DXY and the CME chart because we have now weekend and on the weekend the CMEs and the DXY is not trading. So let's see what is expected for this weekend. And before we start a little reminder we still have this special Bybit bonus going on for this month. So if you signed up with my referral link that you find down below here in the video description and you put this voucher code in the rewards hub you can get up to 180 dollars for free if you put a deposit of at least 0 0.1 bitcoin so definitely go and take this free money that we have here during the month of october and also to everyone that is participating here for this special femex trading event good luck to everyone and let's see if we can win here some extra Bitcoin and of course for everyone that is trading during this competition you profit from 10% of the fees and now let's start straight into the content my friends because Bitcoin currently is consolidating here and I think it is very likely that here we're going to see a breakout to the upside to potentially have this 14k test here finally and there we're going to have to see if we are able to push through or if we dare going to start a possible pullback which could take us even towards here the $11,000 dollar area the thing is that during the weekend we have very low volume usually and also you can see that currently the 20 moving average here in the four hour is perfectly lining up with our support here at 12,750. So I think in the next couple of hours we might see a possible test of this moving average before maybe we have another bounce to the upside and fight here this $13,100 resistance before maybe we could gear up here towards 14k. So watch out here for a possible breakout in the next couple of hours maybe even tomorrow it can happen but for sure during the weekend we're gonna see a possible breakout here to the upside or downside and since we are looking a bit toppy here i think even if we could see here a breakout towards 14k be careful in case that you're starting to open up longs here in the main resistance because i still think there is a very high chance of it that we could see a possible pullback also watching here at the rsi you can see that we are very overbought and if we have a correction towards here the 50 moving average or even towards the 200 moving average in the four hour this will still be a healthy move and it is also good that we come down to retest and confirm the new supports before we're heading into new levels and so far after the breakout here of this 12k resistance we never came down to confirm this support so i think it is even likely that maybe in case of a breakout here to the downside that we will come down here to eventually test 12k where right now the 50 moving average is lining up and from there have another big bounce to the upside and potentially retest this 13,000 dollar area also my own indicator gave a set signal here when we topped out currently at $13,200 since then we are seeing a possible correction or at least a consolidation before maybe we're gonna go down to test 12k also if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour you can see that currently we're squeezing in this tiny channel between $13,300 and $12,500 we have now a bearish cross in the MACD and KST which could potentially lead into a short-lived correction towards $12,000 dollar or at least towards twelve thousand five hundred dollar which is the bottom currently here in the bollinger band and if we have a look also where the cm is closed on friday you can see that here we were about to pump from the 20 moving average in the four hour and we closed the cm is at thirteen thousand dollar so keep in mind this price level wherever we are going during the weekend most likely we're gonna start to trade again on monday at these price levels or at least we're gonna have a new future gap and also if we have a look into the dxy you can see that the dxy was about to continue to plunge here since we got rejected here from the 20 moving average in the four hour and also we got a sell signal so here it was very likely that we would see continuation to the downside in the dxy and that's why i still think it is very likely that bitcoin could reach 14k before maybe a bigger pullback but the question is only what will happen during the weekend because usually on the weekend we see very often pump and dumps and then retrace where we closed on Friday. So let's see what's going to happen here in the next couple of hours and also tomorrow before we're going to start 
to trade again also on the CMEs on Monday. My expectations are that we're most likely going to stay within this consolidation wedge before we're going to start on Monday to trade again. And in case of a breakout here to the upside or to the downside, the target would be 12k here or potentially 14k in case of a breakout to the upside. And now we can go over into the daily time frame because currently you can see that we are far away from all the moving averages, especially here the 20 daily, which is currently at $11,900. So very close to the 12k possible target in case that we're going to break out here to the downside so that's why i think if we're going to have a correction then we should target here the 20 daily moving average and also the 50 daily which is perfectly lining up here at our support of this main channel that we are currently so it is very likely that if we're going to see a major correction that we will have a big bounce here at eleven thousand dollar and why i think it is very likely that we may be going to see another correction before maybe breaking fourteen thousand dollar is because we will respect then this main channel that we are in currently also we are very overbought in the rsi and also in my own indicator we could get very soon here a sell signal and in that case we could see a possible correction down towards eleven thousand dollar again and this is also where we still have some little future gaps and that's why i think it is very likely that we could come down here once again retest again the support and have another big bounce to the upside which then will take us again above fourteen thousand dollars so as long as we're not breaking out from this channel to the downside or to the upside i'm expecting the trading range currently here between fourteen thousand and eleven thousand dollar and if we go over into the bollinger band in the daily you can see that currently we are still overshooting into the upside so a little retracement back down at least towards the first moving average here at 12,200 or potentially even 11,600 is still in the cards and from there we should expect a big bounce to the upside the good thing is that the macd and kst are shifted to the upside so in theory we should see continuation to the upside even though a correction is still very likely to come here and if we go now over into the weekly time frame here you can see that currently we are still trading above the last high that we had here twelve thousand five hundred dollar and if we are able to close this weekly candle above twelve thousand five hundred dollar i think this will be very bullish here for the next couple of weeks and maybe we should expect here big continuation to the upside and a possible consolidation here along the main resistance of around fourteen thousand dollar before maybe we're gonna see a possible correction here towards the main support where also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up here now currently at ten thousand seven hundred dollar the only problem here is also that we currently have the rsi quite in overbought condition so that's why i think even though we could have a close here above twelve thousand five hundred dollar we could potentially see another little correction to the downside before we're gearing up here for another big leg to the upside and that's why my friends i'm telling you always to make sure that you look for good long opportunities and if you open up maybe a short when we are getting into resistance area make sure to use a stop loss and always go with low leverage in because shorting during an uptrend is very dangerous so better watch out for good long opportunities and also the lower the price is dropping the better entries you will get and also the cheaper bitcoin you will be able to buy because if we're gonna have a bigger crash then watch out here for this 9k area i don't think we will go lower than that whatever will happen and in really the worst case we maybe see another retest of the 200 weekly moving average here at 7k but since we are looking so bullish currently and although we are post halving i don't think that we will go down to retest the 200 weekly moving average anytime soon so better keep this range here in mind between eleven thousand and nine thousand dollar if you really want to buy the ultimate cheap price before we are really starting to take off here and if we have now a little look also into the bollinger band in the weekly here you can see that currently we're still overshooting into the upside this is of course what we want to see during an uptrend and currently we still have these two moving averages here between 11,160 down to 10,700 dollar this is i think also where we maybe could retrace in case that from here on we're gonna top out and we're gonna see a pullback but i still see some continuation to the upside at least towards 14k so we don't have necessarily to go down right now to retest this area it is very likely that we will start to consolidate here at around 13,000 and higher before we may be gonna see a possible correction again towards here these price ranges and you can see also the bottom here of the bollinger band currently is at 8330 so this is really the worst case scenario in case of a bigger 
dump also maybe in the stock market and if the dxy is able to push higher towards 95 or 97 dollars then this is the price range that i'm targeting in really the worst case scenario but right now it doesn't look like that we are going down to these levels in the opposite we should look for continuation here to the upside we also have ksd and macd with a bullish cross and after we cooled off here the indicators now we have a lot of room left to the upside so the conclusion my friends if you are in a long position just use stop losses in case of a pullback and if you're opening up some shorts up here at around 14k also make sure to use stop losses slide above 14k because as soon as we're going to break out from this channel that we're in currently we're going to have a big spike to the upside potentially to test 20k here in the next couple of days so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also feel free to join my discord trading chat you find the invitation link down below here in the video description and if you're interested in getting my own indicator where it gives you buy and sell signals then contact me over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye